Hey everyone, this is Charvis from uh, Inconnected.com. Today we're taking a look at the Xbox 360 dashboard um, to debut in 2011. Now, actually today in 2011. Now, I've actually left my controller in the other room. So, we're going to try and do this actually completely with just Kinect. So, let me go ahead and wait here. The first thing you'll find... Uh, First, let's actually go to the home screen. The first thing you'll find once you've updated to the new dashboard is going to be the overall, um, some, people's call, some people are calling it Metro. I'm not going to call it Metro. It's Metro E version of the dashboard. Metro is Microsoft's new design language for everything from Windows Phone to Windows 8 and now Xbox 360. The first thing you'll find is that the entire thing can be completely Kinect controlled. So, for example, I can go from left to right um, with a much better uh, swooping thing here than I could before. Each, uh, excuse me, the Xbox Home, which is with the dashboard, is being called now. Excuse me, hold on one second. Is, uh, can be either controlled by voice or controlled by hand movements with uh, Kinect. If you don't have a Kinect, there's always the old-fashioned way of using it with a controller. But really, the best experience i found is going to be with um, your hands. So we fixed the swooping thing here so you can just do one gesture. There's no holding your hand up in one way and letting it sit there for five minutes. The entire dashboard, I did it again, Xbox Home, excuse me, is divided into um, different areas based on the content that you're looking for instead of the marketplace tab pseudo thing they had going last year. So Obviously, if you want to know more about uh, Xbox Live, your friends, what games they're playing, and make beacons um, to set up playdates or that kind of thing, you're going to do that all from the social hub. If you're looking for video, you're going to do it all from the video hub. In each hub, you'll also find um, a direct link in the marketplace for video apps, so things like Netflix and the uh, apps that will be preceding it in the next couple of weeks, like YouTube and a bunch of others. There's also the uh, marketplace tab for each uh, content. So here we're in video, so it'll be the Zoom video marketplace on that little, uh, right beside that slider. But if you go over the games, it'll say just say games marketplace and my games. But it's going to be pretty much the same on each one of those. Um, all music playback, excuse me, 70% of music playback is actually going to be expected to be through the music, uh, hub. wow, yeah, through the music hub. Um, and that's just because of the way it's got it set up. I'm using a pre-release version. Uh, actually, we're, I'm, we're taping this on the afternoon Microsoft released the update. So, although we're not uh, officially breaking any NDAs, that pre-release channel will go away. And at some point, it will be replaced by uh, a live TV area when they've got that up and running. And if you have a cable provider that supports it, and I'm still willing to pay some a uh, decent amount of money apparently from what some kinds of providers are telling us. Um, other than that, there's uh, a big couple of points I want to make. First, Xbox. Bing. Xbox. Bing. So, while the search cancel. Cancel. While the search, um, excuse me, while the voice recognition software has improved vastly in this version, I still find it to be all kinds of strange. I'm in a completely quiet room, and I'm still having to yell at my Xbox to do certain things. Uh, that could be um, some speech impediment I have that I don't know about, but that is still a big problem. Now, Bing for Xbox 360 is kind of strange because it's a pseudo app, so essentially what they're telling you you can do with it is use it to search for content across the marketplace spectrum. So if I'm looking for Harry Potter, I would say Xbox, Bing, Harry Potter. Yeah, see, Xbox, Bing, Harry Potter. It thinks for a couple seconds, then it'll bring up all the relevant content in the store for Harry Potter. So you've got some videos here, you've also got some couple games here, um, and you've got Perhaps the worst review game of all time, Harry Potter and the Fidel is here. Each, uh, once you click on them, and we're not going to do it here, but once you've hovered over them for a few seconds, it'll take you right into the marketplace for that content. So if I decided to choose Harry Potter and the Fidel Hollows Part 1, it would take me directly into the game's marketplace. Um, you can also do some search here. 
Um, it, 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 I gotta be honest here. While they've tried to make this intuitive search with a connect and a screen that's anything below, I'm gonna say 40, 42 inches, possibly 36, is an absolutely miserable experience. If you cannot use voice and you don't have a connect, pick up an Xbox 360 chat pad. Um, but if you've got connect, you, you really don't want to be doing that. Xbox cancel. Um, let's see here, let's go back. I'm actually going to use, um, go. Alright, so again, I find Bing on Xbox to be pretty decent. Um, it really depends on how well your Kinect already works for you. I mean, if you have no problem with your Kinect understanding the way your accents or what you're looking for or what you're saying, you won't have a problem with this. The entire Xbox dashboard actually has also become, you can actually use the voice commands um, as, you know, God intended. So, for example, Xbox. Xbox. Social apps. All of your, uh, whenever you use Connect now, it'll be completely, or nearly completely, dependent on what you're looking for. So, uh, in the older version of the Connect Hub, you would say, there were some areas where you would say, uh, for example, Netflix, you would say, Xbox, play video one. That's all completely gone, thank God. Um, I, overall, in conclusion, I found the thing to be pretty decent. Um, the last thing I wanted to cover here excuse me, before we end it, is actually the app section, which received a ridiculous amount of hubbub and publicity about um, Microsoft did. And i got to be honest with you, in its current incarnation, it's kind of useless. Um, at launch, you'll only be seeing the, the uh, video, excuse me, you'll only be seeing the apps that are already available, mainly Netflix, ESPN, videos, and music. Hulu Plus, Last.fm, Facebook, and a couple others, including Connect Video. Over time, they're supposed to bolster that with uh, different versions, excuse me, different versions of your cable company's subscription model, or if they don't have a contract with them, even YouTube. So, at some point, this gets better. The problem here is that when you call something an app marketplace, it's kind of implied that there are developers who are able to submit apps, and then you can download them, and you can get some kind of, you can tell your experience like you would on a smartphone or something like that. Let me assure you, that will not happen in this version of the dashboard. This version of the dashboard is completely locked down. You are not, there are no third party titles in the Xbox Live, excuse me, in the Xbox apps marketplace that are not from one of Microsoft's content partners. And I gotta be honest, that's kind of a disappointment. I completely understand why they did it. They've got some things coming down the pike like Windows 8. You really want to have that stuff work across platforms, and I know that that's something that's not possible right now. But still, calling it an apps marketplace is kind of it's kind of scaly. We won't be taking a look at some of the apps that you see here. So Netflix, ESPN, Zoom Video, and Google Plus will all receive updates at some point, but we won't be taking a look at them now for time purpose for timing purposes, and just the fact that a couple of them just still aren't updated yet. Um, we will have um, Zoom Video and Zoom Music uh, reviews probably within the next couple of days, so look out for that on this channel. Um, if you like our video, subscribe, or you can actually head on over to inconnected.com and check out my full written review, all 2,000 words with pictures and all that good stuff. And until next time, I'm Travis Soap for Inconnected TV or Inconnected on YouTube, and you've been watching a video review of the Xbox 360 2011 dashboard. Take it easy.